Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. In here we have some yellow squash and zucchini. This is all organic. The farm share program takes produce that would otherwise rot in the field, either because it's too costly to pick or because it's not pretty enough to sell in a grocery store. It then gets the produce into the hands of hundreds of charitable organizations, all for free. Kimsley Helms of Community Cares in Quincy, Florida, has distributed more than 50,000 pounds to the needy and the homeless so far this year. It needs to be distributed, and you know there's plenty of agencies willing to do it. We just need something like FarmShare to help us. FarmShare has gotten state funding for almost 20 years, until this year. Governor Rick Scott vetoed $750,000 to fund the agency. That veto scares Jolly Moore. He helps distribute food for his church to more than 100 families. A lot of people need, and we're trying to do our best to, to help them out. FarmShare is seeking private donations to stay afloat, and it's calling on lawmakers to override the governor's veto. For now, it is hanging on. It's hard to even imagine that, that the funding's gone. And what we're going to do next, we have no idea. We're going to stay open as long as we can and keep giving the food out. That's all we can do until the money's gone. So far this year, FarmShare has distributed more than 2 million pounds of fresh produce that would have otherwise gone to waste in a field. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vasilinda reporting.